guys, this is Mark from Park Flores RC Hobby Shop in Lakewood, New Jersey. We had a customer with a Teton from Traxxas. Uh, these are the little 118 scale cars. A lot of fun. Um, they do tend to break a little bit more often than the 110 scale. So a lot of my customers, they end up asking me to, you know, to do an extensive upgrade with metal parts um, and more durable parts. So uh, fortunately, Traxxas makes some of those parts and other companies make the rest. First upgrade, we went with the Mini B Mini T Shocks. These are from Team Lozy. They are very, very smooth, a lot better than the Traxxas plastic shocks. They have aluminum housing, so they're going to be a lot more durable. Um, you do need to um, use the uh, the Traxxas bottom parts of the shock to actually make it work, but we did that. I also use a little rubber grommet so that these don't have any play on top. But this is what we do here. We do always custom work. Anyway, front and back, look how smooth these shocks are. I cannot tell you how much better this drives. Um, it feels like a 110 scale car now. It's just the shocks are smooth as glass. And we did them front and back. And then the customer also was complaining. Uh, one of the you know one of the things that break on this car is the universals. You see we have it in uh, aluminum anodized blue, which is beautiful on all four corners. So it's gonna add to the durability. And then the, uh, the other thing we went with was the hot racing front arms in aluminum. These are absolutely beautiful. They're in black. Um, the reason why we did the aluminum in the front and not the back is cost. The customer didn't want to spend $40 on uh, two sets of these. So we did these in the front where it's more important. And then we put RPMs in the back. Um, you want to make sure when you put the RPM on, uh, they do cause a little binding because they're a little, um, the tolerance is different than the hot racing ones and also the factory. So you have to ream them out, ream them out a little bit to make them loosen up this way that the, you know, the shock will have the proper action. Otherwise, they, they kind of bind. So, but the fronts had no problem. They didn't, they didn't the, thank God they didn't need Remy because they are aluminum and that would be difficult. So anyway, this handles a lot better. It's a lot more durable than stock. Uh, please leave us a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any questions. Stop by the hobby shop if you want us to modify your Teton or your pre-runner. We also upgrade the, um, we have upgrades for the uh, Latrax rally car, which is a, a little brother of this one. Keep in mind, um, we have, we also have the, uh, the same brushless system that goes in the Mini B and Mini T. It's about 90 bucks. It comes with the motor and speed control. It'll take this thing to about 45 miles an hour and uh, we make it fit in there. It replaces the stock motor. The stock motor is definitely a point of weakness on the car. Um, if it overheats, it will fail quickly um, and they don't last too long. But anyway, um, there is a brushless upgrade for that. Uh, so I might make another video showing that. Um, upgrade in the future. So um, let's consider this stage one upgrade for Teton. Anyway, this is Mark signing off from Park Flowers RC. We'll see you on the next review. Thanks a lot and have a great day.